Welcome to Ross Age Stadium, home to the Purdue Boilermakers here in West Lafayette, Indiana, and they have been ready to go boiler up since early this morning. What a game and what potential drama we have in store. You've seen this script before. Top 10 team goes into a cauldron of emotion on the road and just hopes to be able to get out and tell about it. As we'll see the number four team in the country, the Oregon Ducks, taking on a fellow Big Ten foe, the Purdue Boilermakers. 48 Sports College Football by Reese Davis, joined here in the booth by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, let's get this thing started. The Boilermakers will kick it away to start us off. And here's the return. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The Ducks offense will take the first swing of the game. And here's the man they want to get the ball to in this passing game. This is the type of receiver, David, when he's covered, he's still open. <laughs> I'm still, he's still putting that hand up in the air. Coach, I'm still open. And more importantly, his quarterback knows that. They're going to move him all over the field. They're going to feature him on offense. They're going to make sure he gets a lot of touches, whether he's open or whether he's open, because he's always open. It's first and 10 from the 31. Caught in the backfield, it's Stewart. Tackled immediately after the catch. Early in the game as a DB, I'm settling in. It, it, it's okay if I give up four, six, seven yards. I'm just trying to get settled in, gauge the speed, and then later on, I can adjust to the speed of the game. Stuck with a running game on first down. Now here they come again. To the air, it's Gabriel. Gets it out fast. He knew exactly where he wanted to go with that one, and they've got enough for the first down. That's a really nice looking throw, and when I think about the Ducks offense, I think about explosive plays, right? In the running game, but also in the passing game. I feel like if this team is going to win the conference, they need this guy here to be able to make throws like that on a consistent basis. But I'll tell you, he really gives him a chance. He makes this offense go. Just a solid stop by this sophomore. Now that's what you try to do as a defense. Limit those damages when they run the football. Get them on the ground, short gains to set your defense for positive situations down the road. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Quarterback on the keeper. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. How about the defensive end understanding football? Understanding that I got to keep outside contained. I'm responsible for the quarterback. Good job playing his responsibility. And how about getting that sucker on the ground? He's a pretty good athlete to be able to corral him, tackle him right in the middle of the field, and get him to the ground. On third and long, he has to throw for it. Unloads to the wideout. He makes a catch. They'll finally get him on the ground, but not before. He makes it to the 30 and gets a first down. Third down, a lot of times it comes down to not necessarily who's the most open, who do you trust the most? No, it's not about the X's and the O's. It's about the Jimmy's and the Joe's. And when my guy's better than you and I get you matched up out wide and I know I trust you, I'm finding you. Off the play fake on first down, the throw. Can't find his man as he took a shot trying to deliver that football, and it'll be second down. Well, the offensive line has got to give him at least a little bit of time to survey the field. He had no chance that time, getting hit almost immediately after he got the ball. Didn't connect last time. Let's see if they throw it again on second down. Looking downfield, it's Gabriel. Pocket starts to collapse. And the quarterback runs out of time, and down he goes at the 38. And that is a great job by the defense, containing and constricting the pocket. There was nowhere for the QB to go, and he did not have a lot of time. He went down quick. Of the opening drive, but this time facing third and long. Looking 
looking to throw and he needs a chunk play. Got his man downfield. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. Yeah, and you see some quarterbacks who hesitate to throw the ball in the middle. I love it when you attack the whole field. And the middle of the field and being able to throw over linebackers and between safeties is a big skill. But show that defense. You're, you, you will attack everywhere. He's looking to throw it. Got it! That completion will take it inside the four, and the offense is threatening. The thing I like about this slot receiver, he's really intentional in his route run. The quarterback always knows exactly where he's going to be on the field. They've got great chemistry. Going to work in the red zone. They can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. They'll run it out of the shotgun. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Yeah, what a great job by the defense. you got to understand, it's physical time, right? They want to run the football when they start getting inside the five. Nice job getting penetration, getting the tackle for the loss. Boy, they'd love to pick up this conversion and go to work with a first and goal. Looking to throw on third. And the quarterback is knocked down back in the 13. And that's a great job by this defense. You don't care about yards anymore. Yards are arbitrary. Let them drive down the field, so be it. You want to keep touchdowns off the board, and they might have just done that with a sack right there. They'll try to get something out of this drive and kick the field goal here on fourth down. Field goal is good. And that'll put the first points of the game on the board. It's three to nothing. So after the made field goal, they'll kick it away and rely on their defense. He'll bring it out. It's Smith. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. The Boilermakers offense will have its first possession of the game. As we take a look at our impact players for this one, what are you looking for, Jesse, for a guy to make an impact? Well, these are simply put the leaders of this football team, and generally games go how these guys play. If they make plays, then they've got a shot to win this one. No doubt. they got to show up. These are the team leaders. These guys have to play well if they're going to win the football game. You know, runs like this oftentimes are like a boxer in a boxing match. Obviously, it's not a knockout punch, but these are body blows. And as the game goes on, these small gains are going to turn into longer runs. The give from the gun. Not much there. Picks up a couple to the 22. Coming to the line of scrimmage on third down. Trying to make that rush think on the draw play here. Finally pulled down, but not before. Moving the change for a first down. And they just kind of sneaked that one in there as a defensive guy, third and five plus. I'm thinking pass. They were thinking pass Palmer, and they slipped the run in. And it's so nice then to have this guy at running back too, right? Because you could throw it to him on third down or hand it off. And he's got the vision and the athleticism to go pick up that first, keep the drive going. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. And defense nowadays, they don't look at stats of what is the yards per rush. They look at how many negative plays they can create. Because why? Now you look at second down, man, it just became very predictable for this offense. Nice job creating the loss on first down. They'll give it to the back. Found that space and picked up six out to the 33. And a nice job by the running back, finding space, getting downhill, making the good run. Great job finishing with his pads. 
They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. Finds his man down the middle. And he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chains. Well, they pick up the first against zone coverage. I think a big part of this for young quarterbacks out there is if you're going to be throwing into zone coverage, you got to throw on time. You can't stare down receivers because the entire defense has their eyes on you, so you can't telegraph where the ball's going. You've got to hold it to the very last possible second. Try to freeze defenders with your eyes and then throw the ball into open areas of the field, anticipating where your guy's going to be. Ooh, well, his freshman quarterback has a hose. Did he zing that thing in there? The Boilermakers will line it up on first and ten. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Feeling some heat. And the pressure gets to him. Down goes the quarterback. Oftentimes with play action, you're asking the quarterback to hold on to the ball a bit longer, and you're asking this offensive line to hold up and pass pro a bit longer. Against this athletic front seven on defense, it's going to be tough. After the big first down sack for the D, it's second down. It's a draw. They bring him down, but a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down. Offensive linemen love when you sneak in draws or you sneak in screens. It holds these defensive linemen accountable. You want to rush the quarterback, you want to fly upfield every single play, we'll sneak right behind you and get some yardage. Ninth play of the drive coming up, but this one will be tough. Third and long. He's looking downfield to throw. And a missed opportunity on third down as the defense knocks it free and fourth down is coming up. It's so nice when you know it's third and long, you know a pass is coming, you worked on it all week, get your feet set at the sticks, understand that quarterback's got to be rushed, get him off of his spot. Nice execution by this defense. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. The ball hits at the five, and it'll go into the end zone for a touchback. And Oregon has it back, and here comes the offense. Always good to get points on a drive, David, but chip shot field goals can leave you a little empty. And I think it's great to get points, but the great teams get touchdowns in the red area. you got to get out there this time and execute a little better on this drive. You're absolutely right, David. Generally, the best red zone offenses are the ones that run the ball the best. So, let's see if they can be a little bit more physical on this drive. Six-yard pickup on first down. Leaves them with second and four. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. And he'll pick up the first down after a tough run there. The Ducks trying to win the day by running for another first down. They run the football. It's always been the staple. We can go back as far as you want with Oregon teams. The ones that were good, they were built on the running of the football. The physicalness. Run the ball, baby. Out of the gun, the give to the back. They'll pick up four, second and six coming. Nice run there on first down. You know this is a running back that gets better as the game goes on. So they're going to want to make sure they keep feeding him the football, let him get lathered up. Solid pickup of four on first down and second and six. Scanning the field, it's Gabriel. Fires to the wideout. It's caught downfield. Touchdown, Oregon! And once he got loose, it was all over. Wait, Ken, can I get the director to give me a replay of that? I want to count the defenders. One, two, three. I mean, there's no way they had 11, right? I mean, that, that is frustrating. Defensively, what are you taught? Like, make them earn it, right? Play, play man, press up on them, make them earn it, make them go the length of the field, don't give up big plays or just give up big plays and don't have anybody in the camera shot and don't have anybody there to even miss a tackle. On to attempt the try. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. 
quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they cap things off with a touchdown pass from 59 yards out. The kickoff team out there getting set. On the run from inside his own five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. The Purdue offense heads back out to the field. The give to the running back from the shotgun. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. And yeah, that's a great play by the defensive end. The best athletes on the field play defensive end. You can ask anybody. Yes, I agree, Jesse Reese. See, they agree with me. Same thing. But you watch them get off the football, make the play. That's why you put your athletes there. A negative play to open the drive. Let's see what they've got on second and 14. They knock him down, but not before he gets it out to the 21-yard line. Pick up a four. Listen, I know that's not a huge game, but those run plays add up. They make you tackle the back every single play. Physically, you have to get some guy on the ground. It takes its toll throughout a fourth quarter game. As they get set to snap it, just about to reach the end of the quarter. On third down, he drops to throw. It's complete on the right side. And after the tackle, we are headed to the end of the first quarter. Time has expired here in the quarter, and Oregon has the lead. They came out and jumped on them early in the first. Let's take a break and look at the first quarter stats. Just about ready to get things started here in the second. We'll see if they continue to flex that muscle. The Boilermakers send out the punt unit. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. And good work by the coverage team to get the return man down on the ground. The Ducks ready to go back to work on offense. Boy, David, they would love to stack another touchdown on top of that last drive. And this offense did such a good job on the last drive. Everything in rhythm, moved the ball down the field, didn't make those mistakes, Jesse. And they need to do it again on this one. Yeah, you're right. They had the defense on their heels. You wonder what sort of communication was going on that sideline. What sort of changes were they able to make? Because they got to stop bleeding right now. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. Give to the running back. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And just nowhere to go for that runner. He had no choice. That defense, they were bringing it up front. Everybody winning their one-on-ones, they completely had him surrounded. Ball's at the 27. This offense facing a third and long. Back to throw. It's Gabriel. A strike downfield. Afterburner's coming. Inside the 10. He was working his way toward that goal line. They'll stop him at the two after the big play up top. I know it's early in the game, but defensively after that play, you know you have to tackle the catch. When this guy gets the ball in his hands, he is so dangerous after the fact. So it's okay for him to make catches. You just got to get him to the ground quickly. The huge play got him on the porch, but now they got a kick in the door. Touch pass on the jet sweep. Touchdown, Ducks! And they made it to the house where they found that six points waiting on them. That touchdown gives his team a pretty significant lead at this point. And that's what you want. You want to start fast. You want everything to come out, start clicking, make some plays. It doesn't always work that way, but when you do, man, the energy, the crowd, everybody's into it. Now the other team better respond. They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And it was finished off with a two-yard touchdown toss. Kickoff team has the ball teed up, and they're about ready to go. And he takes this from inside the five. 
Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. The Boilermakers have it back, and here comes the offense. After giving up that score, now it's incumbent on this offense to kind of get a back and forth going, Jesse, in this game. They got to put some points on the board here. There's obviously a lot of football to go, so it's not necessarily panic time just yet, but I'm getting the ball into the hands of my best playmakers on this drive. Uh, I hear you, Jesse, but not panic time. Have you seen my defense? Uh, I mean, I'm not trusting them to get a lot of stops, so it puts a lot of pressure on this offense. Out of the gun, they'll run it inside. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Great team defense on that one play. Everybody doing their job. People winning their one-on-ones. D linemen staying in their gaps. Linebackers and DBs filling. You just can't do it better. And the Boilermakers moving quickly to the line. On third down, going up top. Throws to the wideout. Can't make the connection on third down thanks to that tough, hard-nosed pass defense, and now it's fourth down. It's a nice job by the receiver working past the sticks. Looked like it was going to be a first down by the offense, but how about the physical play knocking that ball loose? The Boilermakers will line up to punt it away. He'll try to really get into this one. He only needs a sliver of daylight. A little pressure on the coverage team there, and they'll stop him at the 47-yard line. From the gun, running back on the move. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Don't you love energetic defenses that fly around and make things happen? The ones that get in the backfield, the running back tries to go somewhere. Where do you want him to go? There, there is nowhere to go. Nice job by the defense. Great the tackle for a loss on first down. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. Catch in the middle, it's Johnson. And he broke one tackle on the way to a solid pickup there. Well, they execute the in route. How about the arm strength by the QB? That was an absolute bullet on that completion. The line to gain here is the 43-yard line, and it's third down. Got it, looking for the first down. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. Now, and a great job by the defense seeing it right away, reacting to the screen, going and getting the football, and getting the fast playmaker on the ground. And the Ducks will send out the punt unit. He ought to be able to use his first punt to pin him deep. And it looks as if there will be no return here as the punt goes out of bounds. The Purdue offense heads back out to the field. They just haven't been able to get anything going, and they better get started or it's going to get away from them, David. Yeah, and these are the weeks that you really wish that you were playing a video game, and you could just reset the console, start over, Jesse, and make something better happen early. They just look like they're sleepwalking in this first half, and it's not just one guy. They, they just haven't been playing collectively as a unit. And if I'm the head coach, I'm considering starting to give some other dudes some shit. Just flying through the air like a superhero to make the grab. Man, I love those guys that are willing to put their body on the line. And he does it right here, man. Just lays out. That ball's coming in. You can see it from several yards out, making that play, laying out, keeping the football from touching the turf. Great concentration, great effort by the receiver. Here's the handoff. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards, maybe. Second and seven. And sticking to the run. I tell you what, a lot of teams that are really good are really stubborn, and they continue to run the football even with little success. So this offense is going to continue to focus on running the football. You can tell. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. They'll run play action. The quarterback's a little more on target there. Maybe they hook up, but it's an incompletion. This offense just has to find a way to find a rhythm here. They're playing at home, and they want this crowd to stay involved and be an asset in the game, but they need to start making plays. They can't keep throwing incompletions this early. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Quickly out to the tight end. 
The Boilermakers will bring the punt team onto the field. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines, not his best work. And Oregon has it back, and here comes the offense. They'll have another opportunity to extend this lead after punting last time, David. And it's important to put that punt behind you. It's, it's over. Let it go. Get back to what you were doing that built this lead. Yeah, and defense, obviously, they won a few downs uh, that last drive. So we've got to put them on their heels here. Maybe mix up a few personnel groupings and try to show them some pictures they haven't seen. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. Looking for room, it's James. And they try to run inside, and there is nowhere to go. And nowhere to run on that play at all. About all you can say is, do better. But that's the problem. Are they able to do better? And that's why you keep trying things, right? Keep trying to get on the perimeter, run up the middle, try different things to see what you do. A third and long coming up here. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. You want to change some of this bad luck you've had so far around? Get after the quarterback and get his butt on the ground. Nice job by the defense. This game ain't over. It's still the first half. This is a good start. The Ducks decide to punt it away. Three and out. They got stuck in reverse. They hope the punt can bail them out. They make the stop on the return, but there is laundry on the field. Let's get the call. Personal foul. Personal foul. Nothing to Nothing kick the kicker. Defense. 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 The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. The give to the back. Able to pick his way forward for a decent game before the defense gets him down. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Right back to the well. He stopped at the 45 after picking up 10 yards and the first down. And on that run, he shows you his speed, speed, speed. When I think Oregon Duck running backs, LaMichael James, Kenyon Barner, Jonathan Stewart, I think about guys that are burners, and when they got into the second level, they were gone. That's exactly what this guy is right here. From the shotgun, they'll run it. And he'll pick up one. It brings up second and nine. You know, I think a big part of this isn't necessarily scoring a touchdown on that play, but you're just trying to get your offensive line in the rhythm of the game. Let those big fellas get lathered up. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. The marker is at the 35, and they need to get it there to convert third down. Back to throw, it's Gabriel. Unloads to the wideout. Finds a man on the left. And it is a chunk play, a huge gain on that one before the defense brings it to an end. Well, we know this guy is special, and because of that, his quarterback is looking to him on critical down and distances. There on that third down, there was no question. It wouldn't have mattered if he was single covered, double covered, man zone. That's where he was going with it, and the big time playmaker outside picks up the first. Running with power, drives into the defense, and they get him down after a pickup of three to the 16. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line, second and seven.
fights off a defender. Tripped up for the tackle. Hey, I like this by the offense. Nice job of not forcing it, having to throw the football. Now you make it third and manageable. But put your offense in a better position to succeed. That's a nice second down play. It's third down now. They ought to be able to get off one more play before the two-minute warning. As we reach the two-minute warning, they'll need to try to get a stop to keep this thing from getting out of hand. Really need to pick up this conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal. They turn to the passing game on third and short. Reels it in in the end zone. Touchdown, Oregon! And this receiver is on fire. He's got all the skills that you look for in a big-time target. And that's already his second touchdown of the game. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. They marched 56 yards to the end zone. And they finish it off by connecting from 10 yards out. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. Looking for those open spaces and opportunity. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes and they'll stop him at the 16. The Boilermakers have it back and here comes the offense. They'll come out on this drive and let it rip. With the catch, it's Smith. And the defense had that one well covered, just a short game there. Well, we knew coming into this game, this offense was going to try and get this receiver involved, to get him involved early. So here they are just finding an easy completion. It's not a touchdown, but they just want to get this guy lathered up and get him into a lane. On second down, they'll take to the air. It's caught. And they'll finally bring him down after he rips off a huge play. And there was some eye contact going on there on that last play. Press man coverage. The receiver was looking at his guy like, please throw this up for me. You know we got this win. I'm going to beat this guy at the line of scrimmage and make a play. Quarterback, there was no doubt where he was going with it. That's just two guys being on the same page. Looking to go up top on first down. That's caught. It's Brown. And this one will be stopped for no gain. And what a job by the defense, seeing the quarterback throw the football, break on the football, no space allowed. As soon as he catches it, defender meet ball carrier and gets him on the ground. The Boilermakers racing to the line in the hurry up. On second down, looking again to throw. Catch in the middle, it's Smith. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. Four punts already, and they've got to convert here to avoid a fifth. On third and long, try to convert through the air. Didn't have much of a choice, just had to throw that one away. It'll be fourth down. Got to give the defense a lot of credit, man, because they've come into this hostile environment, and they've quieted the crowd down with some of the plays they're making. They've got a nice lead right here, and they're making it hard for this quarterback to go to work. And the Boilermakers will try to pin them back with the punt. They'll get down and put a stop to the return at about the 28-yard line. The Ducks ready to go back to work on offense. What a good mix of plays keeping that defense off balance last time, David. And... And the pressure gets there. And down he goes at the 18. Well, we knew coming into this game, this defense had some matchups they felt really good about up front. They won one right there, getting to the quarterback, creating a negative play. And they're going to need these guys to start winning more of those because they are finding themselves in a hole here early in the game. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. 
Fellas, yeoman's work so far in West Lafayette today, and welcome in to the halftime update. And there is no better place to start this halftime than by reviewing how this wideout has been a one-man wrecking crew. The kid's been everywhere, and I love how he's willing to go across the middle, but that he also has the Jets to burn these DBs on the deep ball. If this defense wants to actually come back in this one, they better hide his cleats. And with that, let's send it back to the guys at Ross Aid Stadium. The Ducks will kick it away to crank up the second half. He'll bring it out. It's Smith. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. The Purdue offense heads back out to the field. They come into this third quarter with a lot of work they need to get done. Yeah, and it starts with this possession. And, and I'm, I'm going piece by piece. I know this is coach speak and very simple. I score, I get a stop. I score, I get back in this game, but it's got to be one drive at a time. It, it's going to have to be, but I think the mindset offensively is we're probably going to have to score every time we get it because our defense has been struggling. They have not been getting a lot of stops. So this is a critical drive here for this offense. They'll run the option. Runs through the tackle. And he didn't get the pitch off, and he paid the price. Brings up And this offense just can't afford not to get the first down here. Already trailing big, and the clock is not their friend. Fires to the wideout. He's got an open man. And Chuck plays on the name of the game, and they get one here before the defense finally makes a stop. There's a reason third down is called the money down. What a great find by the quarterback. Great job finding his receiver. Uh, at the end of the game, you look at third down percentages, it tells a huge story, and it goes a long way in deciding who wins a football game. They'll throw it on first down. Working that left side. They get him on the ground, but not before he gets enough for the first down. And I love the awareness by the wide receiver on that play because I'm not sure that route was supposed to be that deep. You got to wonder if the receiver decided maybe to adjust the route a little bit to make sure that he got the first down. The Boilermakers have this offense rolling. Wide receiver now comes in motion. Touch pass on the jet sweep. He is stopped behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose yards on that one. Got to give the defense credit. Watching film, anticipating. They knew that this offense had this play in their back pocket. They knew about the speed of this wide receiver and different ways they were going to try to get him involved. Everybody on defense on the same page playing together. I love it. Back to the air one more time. And that pass is intercepted. And they'll drag him down after a good return on the interception. And the senior just took that one out of the air and sends it the other way. As a quarterback, you've got to give your receiver an opportunity to make the play. You've got to put the ball on his body. And that throw gets away a little bit from the QB, and that leads to the tip and the interception. And Oregon has it back, and here comes the offense. Gets it out quickly. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. Great effort by the defense here. Offense trying to go wide receiver screen. How about the speed on defense round to the football? Kept it on the ground on first down. Let's see what they do on second. Grab behind the line. It's Johnson. And they pick up just a few on that completion. And listen, I'm going to move this guy everywhere. He's in the slot this time, but I'm not going to let the defense understand where he's lining up so they can double team him, put him in the slot, put him out wide. Either way, find this guy early and often. After the strong run on second down, third down coming. Do they do it again? Dropping back, it's Gabriel. 
Let's it fly. Makes the catch. Touchdown, Ducks. And the beatdown has ensued. Like a Thanksgiving turkey. They're just being carved. No shot. They have no idea how to get in this quarterback's head. He's on fire. Everything he's doing is working defensively. We got to figure something out. We got to try to do something a little bit different. Bring more pressure. At this rate, shoot, he's on so much fire, you might as well just send everybody. Blitz everybody, live with the results, because everything else ain't working anyways. Lining up to add another. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they finish the drive with a touchdown toss from the 49. They're just about ready to kick it away. On the move from inside is five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. The Boilermakers have it back, and here comes the offense. After that last pick, David, they really need to take care of the ball this time. No doubt. And Palmer, I want to know what Spurrier said to you on the sideline after the pick. Do that again, and you'll be right here beside me for the rest of the game. <laughs> you got to go out. you got to call your plays. And I hope this coaching staff isn't going to be afraid to throw it this drive. Lining up from the 34 on first down. Pre-snap motion in the backfield. Give to the running back. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. It's been that kind of day for this offense, right? It seems like anything they're dialing up just simply isn't working. But at this point, David, I don't know if it's even worth trying to run the ball. Probably not. You're getting destroyed right now. Nothing has gone your way, and when you're down this much, I, I think the running game is used sporadically, not as a staple. Let's throw this football around and see what can happen. Caught in the backfield, it's McCoby. He's there to make the stop, and they threw it in reverse, losing yardage on that play. Listen, if I'm a QB, second down, I want to check the ball down and get a manageable third down, but when this defense is flying around like this, so fast closing out. He got to that running back, got him on the ground so fast, the running back had nowhere to go. On third and long, you'll need to push it downfield. Got his man. They make the stop, but the sweet rolling catch is plenty to give him a first down. When you play zone and you drop back, you're dropping back to a spot, and that means there's going to be holes, and the quarterback has to do a good job of reading it, seeing it, throwing it between those holes. He does a really nice job there. Makes the defense pay for playing zone coverage. And a good job of coverage by that defense. Just a short pickup. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. They'll go right back to him. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Will they keep it on the ground again here on third down? They'll try to pick up the first through the air. Fires to the tight end. They'll move the chains. Good execution on third down. They've got it at the 41. David, that is a great security blanket for a quarterback to have a tight end to make those conversions. Dang right. Find the big fella on third and short. Dependable, clutch, nice hands. First down. Shut down and shut out in the first half. But finally, this offense trying to put something together. And a big key on that throw to the slot receiver, guys, is putting the ball out in front. The location of the throw is what helped that guy get extra yards after the catch. Now on second and short. From the gun, the ground game. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. 
That linebacker saw the express lane right to the ball carrier. And a great job by the defensive line getting some push, making them use their resources on him. Linebacker comes free, boom, and making the backfield for a tackle for a loss. This will be the ninth play of the drive coming up. It's a third and two. Got his man quickly. Offense has gained momentum with third down conversions like that. They've got it at the 25. And on that third and short, I don't think he was unhappy to see that zone. Nope, it was a great job by the offense. Hey, see where the holes in the zone are? Sit down. You only need a little bit of yards on this third down. Get the conversion. Move the sticks. Some early movement along the offensive line, and they'll walk it back. Ball start. Ball start. Ball start. Ball start. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. They have had the ball for a week and a half. Play number 10 coming up. Looking to throw. Fires downfield. Got a man in the middle. And he'll be brought down. QBs and wide receivers spend all offseason together throwing the football in air. I mean, really developing that chemistry and timing. Understanding, I get man coverage. I'm throwing this to you right now. The Boilermakers are in the red zone. Now the play fake. It's complete to the left. And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. No reason to panic when you see those extra bodies coming. Just find the big tight end. Well, and the great ones do that. The great ones are okay. You want to blitz? I know my answers. I'm all right. I'll stay patient. Find the matchup. This time it was the tight end. Finds the tight end, throws a strike, gets the first down. On the run, it's McCoby. Keeps those legs churning for three yards. He's down at the nine. Operating in the red zone here on second down. Pulls and throws off the RPO. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. Yeah, nice job by the defense. That's what you're supposed to do. As soon as they catch the football, you want to limit that yards after the catch. And he went nowhere after the catch. Nice job on the D. Third and long, and they can get the first down without scoring a touchdown. From the gun, wants to pass. And he got a hand on it to knock it down in the end zone. Got to give the defense credit on that play, taking everything away, forcing the incompletion. Now it's decision time. Fourth and short, and you're in field goal range. What do you do here? They'll have to settle for a field goal attempt. It is true as he puts three on the board. They'll kick it away after putting up a field goal on that last drive. The returner will field it and try to get some field position. He's brought down at the 16. Would have been much better off to take the touchback. The Ducks ready to go back to work on offense. Leaves it with the back. Gets it out to the 20 after a pickup of four. See, they need more runs like that. It's just it's been so few and far between. Defensively, they've been in position. They've been winning their one-on-one -on -one battles, getting off blocks and rallying to the ball carrier. This defense has done a nice job slowing down the run game thus far. They'll try to get the edge on the left. Nowhere to run on that when he loses four on the carry. And listen, the offense has had their way, and they've had so much success and so much production. But listen, at least the defense got a rep. You know, maybe this gets you some a spark. Maybe this gets you some energy. Maybe we'll see a little bit more life from this defense. Yeah, they may not win the game, but I think this defensive coaching staff at this point, based on how this game has gone, they're just trying. And the quarterback goes down at the 11-yard line. 
defense has had some bad stuff happen to them today, but one bright spot for them has been the pass rush. They've shown the ability to get after the opposing quarterback. And the Ducks will punt it away on fourth down. Three and out and not much choice but to get rid of the ball. This is a spot you see many returners try to take a chance, but not this time. Fair catch just inside the 40. The give to the tailback. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. has expired here in the quarter and Oregon has the lead. This has been a complete obliteration so far as the third quarter stats will show you. So will the beatdown continue or is this a comeback for the ages in store? We'll see as we start the fourth. He wants to throw here on second down. And they couldn't hold off the heat and he goes down with the sack. Well, the defense is not taking their foot off the gas. They've got a huge lead. We're early in the fourth quarter, and still they're getting pressure on this quarterback registering a sack. Ball's at the 29. Defense can taste getting off the field. It's third and long looking to throw and he needs a bunch makes the grab down the middle he's got first down yardage across the 50 they'll mark it at the 49 the offense has struggled they're not going to win this game but trust me this coaching staff is still trying to find things to build off of for next week and after an explosive play like that maybe they can generate just a little bit of momentum and gain a little bit of confidence that they can keep coaching up heading into their next game Trying to get to it. And he can't escape, and down he goes. And this has been one of those days you want to forget. I mean, you're getting drunk. There's no other way to put it. It's been a bad day. I'm trying to put a drive together here, maybe to just get some kind of momentum, something positive, maybe something in the locker room we can talk about that didn't go wrong. We'll see if they can get a little better protection after the sack at second and 12. He's looking to throw. Pulls it in. It's McCoby. And good coverage by the defense. Just a short game. You just get the feeling this defense is going to make it hard on them, right? They've got the lead. It's late. And they're going to try to tackle everybody inbounds. Offense is going to have to really work for this. And be smart. you got to attack the sidelines. You got to throw first down. You got to keep this thing moving vertically down the field. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. Unloads to the wideout. He's got it. They just gashed the defense on that one, and they've got it down to the 23. And this offense has got to kick it in high gear now. Making a big play, that is great, but we got to go up tempo. We got to go fast. We're trailing big in this ball game. We got to put a lot of drives together and maybe even get lucky with an onside kick. The Boilermakers are flying down the field. He wants to throw. Quickly complete. And quarterback and dropping back understanding. I'm getting zone coverage. All I got to do is be a little bit patient, manipulate that defense a little bit. My wide receiver runs that drag, and I get the first down. And the Boilermakers have pushed it inside the 20. From the shotgun, the inside give. Tackle is made, but not until he gets the first down. Well, I know this is an offensive line that has a ton of pride, and they want to come out each and every game and really impose their will on the D-line. They got just enough push there on that run play to pick up the first. The Boilermakers come to the line with a new set of downs. 
They're going to ride this running back. Pull down after a pickup of five. They'll mark it at the eight. Hey, five to six yards a pop. I don't know if you guys are really good at math, but that usually equals a first down every couple carries. So don't forget about the run game. Keep them honest. Pound that rock. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. They'll leave it with him. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. And I think that might be an example of the running back maybe trying to do a little bit too much. Everybody wants to try to bounce the ball outside and hit the home run, but in college football at this level, you just need to do a better job taking what the defense gives you. They'd love to pick up this third down and get a fresh set with first and goal. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. Snagged in the end zone! Touchdown, Boilermakers! Yeah, nice pitch, nice catch, and listen, maybe this helps next game, right? Like, we're trying to find a rhythm, find something that works, find somebody to go to, and this offense is struggling, and you're down by a 1,000, but I like that they continue to fight. Getting set for the point after. And the extra point gets him a little closer at 31-10. So it's a 73-yard touchdown drive. And they finish it with an 11-yard touchdown dart. Maybe feeling a little better about things. Still a 21-point game as they're set to kick it off. He'll start the return inside his five. And the returner goes down. And Oregon has it back, and here comes the offense. That last drive fizzled out, Jesse. They had to punt it. Yeah, they did. And David, they're just going to have to do a better job this time around erasing them. Can anyone catch him? He's inside the 40. And what a huge chunk play for this offense. Just exactly what you need to move the ball down the field. Well, that's called paying off good field position. You've got the lead here late in the game. You've got the ball back. You're on your opponent's side of the 50. And on your very first play, you break off a long run. This defense right now is playing on their heels late. This offense capable of exploding at any moment. Now they're set up inside the 30 with a first and 10. Back to throw, it's Gabriel. Not able to hook up there, incomplete. I'm a little bit surprised they're still throwing the football here this late in the game with this kind of lead. They're on first down, taking a shot, falls incomplete, but obviously they're still seeing matchups that they want to take advantage of at the back end of this defense, so they're letting it fly. Now facing a second and 10 from the 28 after that last incompletion. The play action fake. Looking down the middle. He's got it. They bring him down, but he's got a first and goal from the 10. Well, it really just feels like they are trying to make a statement to everybody in college football. They've got a lead. They've got it late, and they are still putting it on this defense. They are still letting it fly. They're airing it out, trying to light up the scoreboard. Going up top on first down. It's complete. And he was pushing for that goal line, but the D stopped him at the two. Using him out of the slot, he has just been unstoppable. And I love putting dynamic athletes in the slot that I can move around, that I can put in motion, that I can, I can make him go in or out. I can put him off the ball so you can't get hands on him. And they've really featured this guy today. Pushes ahead. Touchdown, Oregon! And the pummeling has started. And this has been a complete performance. The defense has been lights out. And the offense, obviously, just continues to pour it on. This is what you call having a great day. Putting it all together, offense, defense, complimentary football. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. 
a very efficient five-play scoring drive and finished the deal with the short touchdown run from the two. The kickoff team out there set to boot it away. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. The Purdue offense heads back out to the field. To the air on first down. He hurls one deep down the left side. And that will be incomplete. Man, that would have been a big hitter if they could have done it, but second down coming. And it's just been that kind of day for this quarterback in this offense, guys. They have never been able to get into a rhythm throwing the football. Timing's been off. Accuracy hasn't been great. We've seen some drops. Just not in sync. And that's why they find themselves trailing by a lot right here late in the game. Throws for the tight end. Complete downfield. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. And Jesse, there's a huge mountain to climb here, but you might as well start with a chunk play. Well, you got to start somewhere, Reese. It's been tough going for this offense all game long. They find themselves in a hole, but I love the aggressive nature. Keep taking shots. Keep trying to claw your way back into this one. Throws to the wideout. Got him downfield. Good execution. They move the sticks, and they've got it at the 33. And with that one, he's now over three bills for the game. And there's two reasons why, Reese. He's made good decisions, and he's been accurate throwing the football all game long. The Boilermakers with the first and ten. Looking to move it through the air. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. At this point in the game in the fourth quarter, it is going to be tough for this offense to get some completions here because now, trailing by this much, the defense is expecting pass and they're putting a whole bunch of extra DBs on the field to help them out in coverage. They'll try again on second down after the incompletion. The aerial assault continues. It's incomplete, and he's lucky to get that one back. Almost intercepted. And that's just the kind of game it's been for this quarterback in this offense. you got a great game plan all week long. You're watching it throughout practice. You think you're going to have a chance to light up the scoreboard, but they're just not able to hook up. you got to give this defense a ton of credit. They've done a great job in coverage. They've been breaking on passes. They've had their number, and that's why they're leading by as much as they are. Fires to the wideout. Another incompletion on third down. You see an incompletion there. I think a big reason why this team is in such a hole right now in the fourth quarter is they have just not been able to find the explosive plays throwing the ball. And you got to wonder at this point, is it too little too late? Down by multiple possessions, you can't come up empty on this drive. They'll go for it on fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. And it's knocked away. They'll give up the ball, failing to convert on fourth. First down here for the offense. They'll run it from the gun. Just willed his way for a couple out to the 35. Yeah, and he's shown you a little bit of everything today. Shows you why he's a really good back. And the lines paved some holes. And he's, he's right at 99 yards. And the way this game's going with the lead, he's going to get a few more touches. Break that century mark. And when you do, you have a great chance of winning football games. Might as well stick with him. Stuffed almost in his track, but strong enough to pick up one to the 35. Now facing a third and long. They'll run it from the gun. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. The Ducks line up to punt it away. Let's see if he can help the coverage team out with this one. Fair catch called for and made. The Boilermakers have it back, and here comes the offense. They've got it back after that last drive stalled out, and they were stopped on fourth down, David. Yeah, and they put a little bit of a drive together, but... Looking deep down the right side. Catch inside the 30 and still running. 
He just brought some serious energy, making that huge play and getting it all the way down to the 23-yard line. That last big play has them in business. Just outside the red zone, it's first and ten. Use the play fake, now to throw. Unloads to the right. He got it! They make the stop at the two, and he's got enough to give them a first and goal. The defense has their hands full of trying to stop this guy in the slot. They're going to have to figure something out to bracket him, try and get two bodies around him, maybe get some safety help as well, because right now they do not have the answer for this guy. The Boilermakers have it in scoring position on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And the knee does it again. Like, I feel like it's a repeat. You could play that over and over today. They've had a great game against the pass, against the run, limiting the big plays, and they do it again. Just watch them. Where they're supposed to be. They're physical. They don't give up a lot of tackles, uh, you know, a lot of yards after the tackle. Just a great performance by this D. They're trying to get to it. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. How about that from the offense? Second and goal, everything says you might run the football. They try to throw it, and man, was that unsuccessful. Sit back in the pocket, just throw the football away. Don't take the sack, don't go backwards, especially inside the three-yard line, set up in such good position. We've reached the two-minute warning, and we see miracles in college football all of the time, and they could use one here. Third and goal coming up here. Looking downfield and he needs a bunch. Going for six. It's incomplete. He was shooting for the end zone right there. And this is just one of those days, man, where everything has gone wrong, right? Like they just haven't been in a rhythm. They haven't, they haven't got it going and never built the momentum. This is, this is one of those days that you learn from, you try to grow from. A lot of things that we're going to show in the film room that people aren't going to like, but hopefully you can learn from it and do better next time. Looking for the score. And it's incomplete. The long pass on fourth down is to no avail. Here comes the offense on first down. They want that clock to run. And I think they'll give him two on that one, second and eight coming up. And the defense is still fighting. They, they haven't had the day that they dreamed of. You know, talking to the coaches coming to the game, like they thought they had a good plan, they'd be ready to attack, and, and they'd limit some of the damage this offense has done. They haven't done it today, though. They gotta go back to the drawing board, figure some things out, because this wasn't a great day. They'll run it from the gun. Not a whole lot of progress made there on the short run. And I'm a fan of this, man. Run the football, run the clock. We got the lead. This offense has put together a nice day, man. Like, just balance, rhythm, timing, play calling. Everything has worked. That's why they built this lead. They've had a great day today. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. They'll keep it on the ground to the right. That one did not go well. Tackled in the backfield for a loss of six. Well, that play didn't stand a chance. I mean, nobody even blocked that guy. And he's able to get the tackle for loss. Number 92, on supposed to win. A fair catch taken just inside the 40-yard line. 